Hello everyone, this is Cam and welcome to another BOTB video and today we are covering the brand new midweek competition picture week number 14 So before we get started guys, make sure don't forget to give us some thumbs up if you like this video Let's see if we can get to 100 likes on this video Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and consider joining the Patreons guys uh, Membership starts from only £3 per month and you're going to get access to the VIP WhatsApp and the Facebook group and uh, keep in mind guys those VIP live streams are going away from 14th from 15th of April so obviously we'll, we are going to do the live stream on Patreon page and uh, obviously only the patrons will be able to watch it so um, also the most popular membership is the silver membership there uh, so it starts from 4 19 a month the benefit of that is you can get access uh, to the you can get two entries free entries for the giveaway so one entry on each member uh, giveaways which is the BOTB credit we, I'm giving away 20 pound worth of credit every single week to one of those uh, patrons and obviously you also get a free entry for the smart devil marches giveaway which is going to be uh, in every three months uh, so you get one entry for each of them if you get uh, gold membership you get two entries uh, if you get platinum you get five and vip members get 10 entries for each competition all right so moving on to the picture so this is the picture which is not too bad we're just looking at uh, the picture on a high res uh, image it's very high resolution so you can have a rough idea where the ball should be from this where everyone's looking so uh, going back to the actual page as you can see, uh, there's three players in the frame. So obviously all three of them, I believe, looking at the ball. The ball is in front, which is towards the camera, uh, more close to the camera. So let's start with drawing some lines. So starting with this little five-year-old little boy. I don't know what he's doing there. But anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and draw some lines from his eyes. So is looking at around this direction is obviously looking straight up but on a little bit of an angle which is a bit more to the left around this area uh if you draw another line from the other eye which is uh, his right eye he is looking at around this direction here uh which is not too bad and also uh if we just draw some lines from this guy here there's both eyes are kind of in the as a level so let's go with the maximum and minimum uh places where the judges uh we might go so maximum probably the judges uh might go around this area uh it's gonna be the max one of one or two of the judges would probably go there and the lowest probably someone would go same level with his eyes which is around this area so if we just draw a middle line from both of these players let's see uh, where it takes us you can always adjust it after it's not a problem uh, so the middle line is going to be around this area here and the middle line from the guy in yellow uh, is going to be around this area which actually looks quite good not too bad uh, okay right so if you notice the player at the back is also looking at the ball so you don't really get an exact position from him but if you draw lines uh, from middle of his uh, eyes or from his nose, uh, you can if and if you just add it to the center right there, it kind of makes sense. Obviously, the ball is in front of him, so it's like a 3D image, but in a 2D picture, so 3D situation. So obviously, it's hard to get that sex spot in here. So let's just put across there. Let's see how it looks, and then obviously we can adjust it later on. So. Uh, the area that we came up with, which is 2946, 1090. So uh, let's see how it looks uh, with a target on, you know, those uh, result thing. Uh, when the result comes out, this put a target on this, uh, on the image. So we'll just put those uh, uh, target on that coordinate. Let's see how, how it looks. So let's just take it to that coordinate, which is, give me two seconds. If I just minimize that a little bit, all right, there you go. Okay, right. So if we just uh, work on the target, uh, the coordinate selected was twenty nine forty six. And then ten ninety, which is slightly lower. Okay, so around this area. Now, if we put the target on, 
onto that coordinate what do you think guys are you going to that area are you going more to the right left up or down let's see so um in here it looks quite all right actually i'm happy with that uh but keep in mind guys we got two uh three live streams to come on this uh picture so for me it looks quite all right i would probably go a little bit more to the right uh i mean to the left to make it more perfect so let's just adjust that coordinate quickly uh so let's see let's adjust it a little bit let's see if we move it a bit to the left how does it look i think that looks better even moving a little bit to the left as well at the same time so around this area looks uh, pretty much bang on right let's see what coordinate that is uh, so if we just put the target right in the middle so the coordinate okay it's not actually in the middle yet One second okay so that coordinate is uh, 2875 1100 let's just put it across there see how it looks Let's hide all the lines and then we can put it again. So 20, what was it again? 2875, 11, okay, no worries. Okay, around this area, which is not too bad now um the judges or the average there is a possibility uh for the average to be a bit more to the right as well at the same time uh, but if i just uh, put my cross somewhere in between in the middle of uh, that and then start my cluster i think that would be a good coordinate i mean let's see if i just put the ball right there to that coordinate right there it actually looks quite good so i'm actually quite happy with this so i'll probably take the previous coordinate off uh and uh, put this as a main cluster which is going to be the center of all the coordinates so if we put this line back on which is actually looks not too bad uh starting uh drawing the line let's draw the lines again to that and that pretty much looks quite good actually i'm happy with that uh and i'll probably be playing quite a lot of ticket on the uh, on this week because i quite like this kind of picture i mean when it's not too easy uh, but not too hard it's one of those weeks uh so i'm going around this area okay so the coordinates uh again if i just show it to you guys which is 2875 it was actually uh 2875 1100 okay so if i start my cluster from there uh put this uh, magnifying tool in the middle of that uh, so let me know what you think guys are you going more to the right left up or down on this picture let me know in the comment section below uh, okay, so uh, pretty much I'll cover uh, the whole magnifying glass, which is not too bad. I mean, obviously, it's a very high-resolution picture, so you don't really have to uh, double it up. I think if you're lucky enough, you can win as it is, like uh, it used to be before, because before no one uh, knew about doubling their tickets up and all of that. So I'm not going to double it up on this week because I know there's going to be so many different opinions from you guys. Uh, we'll find that out when you do the live stream, guys. So we're going live tonight and we'll start taking coordinates from everyone. And then we'll try to come up with the best possible area. Uh, let's just move this a little bit to that direction. So what I'm going to do, just fill up uh, this area what that's gonna do is just will give me a bit more chances if the ball is slightly more to the left right because it's very hard to guess the exact spot where the judge is gonna go i mean you can always win with one ticket but you need to be very very lucky uh for that to happen uh so i think is that's why we you know we play a few tickets at least to maximize the chance of winning uh fill up the gaps if there is any in any bigger gaps and that's it i mean that cluster looks quite bang on to me so let me know what you think about these guys i mean have i done it completely wrong you're going to a different area you can also submit your code in the comment section below so that we can start taking them before the live stream starts 
So thank you very much, guys, watch, for watching, guys. If you like this video, like I always say, smash that like button. That would be amazing. And don't forget to join the Patreon, guys. Uh, very important because the VIP live streams are going away from 15th of April. And you can win £20 worth of VOTB credit every single week. And those who join the bronze membership, this is your last chance to upgrade to the silver membership at least uh, so that you can get... Uh, uh, the entry for uh, the giveaways uh, so you can win yourself 20 pound worth of credit every week so thank you so much fingers crossed hope you guys win and i'll see you guys tonight at 7 30 have a good day guys i'll see you tonight thank you bye bye